Right, well it's been a long time since we've done anything on the battery. In fact, uh, the last video you saw, which was published uh, <laughs> last year now, uh, with the capacity test was the last thing I did with the batteries. They've been set in the box and uh, life has taken over. Christmas, lockdown and all of that kind of stuff. But spring is in the air, hopefully, and uh, a lot of people asking about the batteries and uh, I need to kick myself up the backside and get the battery built and finished and ready into the boat for uh, the season. So I thought I'd uh, do the first video of the actual build. We've seen the cells, you've seen me kind of test them, but I'm actually gonna to put together the cells into a battery bag, 560 odd amp hour, um, uh, four, it's been so long, I can't even remember, a, a 2P4S, uh, I think, that's probably the wrong way around. Anyway, it's 12 volt uh, with uh, the two parallel and then four cells in series. So I'll take you through the build, and the bits that I'm going to be using for the build and how it's going to all go together. And this is going to be part of a multi-part video uh, by the time we put this all together. I've got the new BMS. It's a, a, a REC or REC, uh, ABMS, Active BMS, uh, I'm going to be using. And then a whole bunch of other stuff that uh, so I've been waiting to arrive. So everything's here now and let's get on with the build. So let's go through all of the parts and the components I've got laid out here. So we've obviously got the four uh, EVE cells, 280 amp hour. Uh, cells here. Now the interesting thing or the challenge about these cells is they're aluminium cased and the case is negatively uh, connected which is fine when they're all in parallel because if the, if the case if this heat shrink uh, gets uh, damaged or anything or rubs uh, and is exposed and the two short out then, then that's fine it's, it's negative to negative that's fine but when you've got para, uh, series pairs where you've got the negative join to the positive and then the negative joins bad things will happen and you will definitely get magic smoke uh, quite a lot of magic smoke and probably some uh, magic fire as well um, so what we need to do is to kind of isolate uh, or to insulate uh, between the batteries so to do that i've got this this is fr4 sheet uh purchased this off of ebay i'll try and get all the links uh, down below they might not be there straight away so do look back uh, on the video and I will update the description. This is an FR4 sheet, you cut it with a standard knife, it's fiberglass sheet basically, and that is gonna go in between each one of the batteries, uh, each one of the cells, like so, to basically just act as an insulation uh, between them, or an insulator between them. So if anything does happen, if they do rub and the uh, this blue heat shrink gets damaged, then they won't short together, and that will then get squished together like that, and give us a level of protection against uh, any damage and to make sure that there's no shorting out between the cases of each of the cells. Uh, we then, uh, there's, there's several things uh, or several different routes of how you build a battery out of these cells. Uh, there's a great, um, couple of great uh, uh, YouTube channels that you can go and watch uh, whether you should or shouldn't compress. Uh, Solar Garage did a whole video on whether you should or shouldn't compress. Uh, Metagrid's done some stuff. Now, because these are going on a boat and the boat will be moving up and down and bouncing up and down and there is a potential of movement in these batteries, um, I want them to be kind of rigid and together and, and, uh, and make sure they're kind of held together. So I'm going to compress. In addition to that, Eve in their specifications now recently, the updated spec sheets have said you actually get more life out of them if you do compress. So I've got two pieces of 12 mil uh, plywood. This is actually a fire rated plywood it's probably not necessary um, but i decided to go with that um, so that's going to go uh, on either side and i've created two nice kind of carrying handles um, so i can lift the batteries in and out if necessary so that's the kind of configuration and then i've got these uh, stainless steel uh, bars uh, so this is all thread or threaded rod uh, this is i say the stain I went for stainless steel because obviously it's on a boat so there's going to be potentially moisture and i uh, don't want it to rust uh, some nylock um, uh, nuts some big uh, uh, penny washers repair washers um, to then clamp all of these uh, together now uh, the, the the other thing to obviously note is this is metal and again if this is going to go uh, in between uh, the, the batteries there is a potential that this could then rub and uh, damage the insulation so what i did these are eight mil all thread and i've got some eight mil silicon tube which you can see there it goes over that and then that will basically sit uh, there and there um, on each side so four pieces which will then clamp the whole lot together and i've got some nice big clamps to clamp it you can tighten it all up 
and that will be uh, half the battery. That's a six volt, 560 amp hour battery, and then we'll do the same on the other one. Drop them in the metal case and everything is golden. So that's the plan. These are all the bits. So the, the wood, the FR4 sheets, the uh, silicon uh, uh, tube. This is an uh, induction tube, I think, for uh, turbochargers or something. It's very cheap off of eBay. And uh, the bars, all of this came off of eBay um, just because you can't get delivery of anything at the moment. So uh, let's go and put it all together and then show you exactly how this looks. And then we can compress it and uh, then get the other one built as well. And I'll then talk about how I'm going to do the bus bars because I've bought some copper, uh, flat copper bar. I'm gonna make up my own bus bars to uh, connect all these together. So let's get into that now. So let's give you a quick walk around and again, just show you exactly what I've done here. So you can see there the FR4 sheets in between each one of the cells. Then we've got the two plywood sheets either side and then um, the, uh, the threaded rod, the big washers and the nuts either side. I'll tighten those side up. So it's, it's basically together. It's the same on the other side. So that's a, a, a single unit, a single battery, essentially. Um, let's say this is going to be a 6 volt, 560 amp hour, essentially, uh, battery. That's going to be um, one of the, uh, the packs. And then we'll put the other pack together to make, as I say, the full uh, battery. So uh, next up, we're going to compress this. And uh, to do that, I picked up some clamps uh, so I can try and evenly... Uh, clamp it first and then tighten up the nuts uh, was my idea rather than sort of independently tightening up the nuts and uh, sort of not distributing the force evenly across the whole battery. So you can see the clamps that I've got here which I'm going to use to, to clamp or to compress the, uh, the pack together. I picked these up from Screwfix, they weren't expensive. I was actually going to just use them and take them back um, but I've been waiting so long to do this job. <laughs> Uh, I probably think I've passed the window of being able to return them, uh, so we're just going to keep them. Again, they weren't expensive, um, I think they were something like 10 quid each or something, 11 quid each, something like that. It uh, wasn't a lot of money. So again, I'm going to uh, just put these either side, that's annoying, get that pin in from this side, it'll drop out. There. I'm just going to loosely uh, clamp them so they stay put. Try and get it roughly halfway between there. And then let's take this one here. Put that well. Right, so there's the clamps in place. Now I'm going to try and be reasonably scientific as I can be. Uh, on this got tape measure. I'm going to try and measure the uh, the, the distance of, uh, of clamp so that we can be kind of equal. So there's an inch, uh, inch and three quarters there. I don't know what that is in millimeters, and there is uh, inch and a half there. I need to bring this one in. Chunk. Yeah. So that's it, the finished uh, bank, one finished bank uh, battery. Here it is. Uh, you can see there's the, uh, the, so the bars hold it together. You can see the insulators in here and then the end plates uh, that make this into a, a little bit more of a portable unit uh, that you can see there. So I hope you found that useful. This is going to be part one. I'll get the other one built up and then once I've got the pair of them built up, put them in the box and then work out the bus bars uh, to wire them up and then work out the BMS and all of the other components we're gonna have in the battery box. Thanks for watching, please hit the subscribe and like for more great videos on boating tube around uh, all things boating.